What's up? It's Iceman hooking you guys up with an ice cold video and today guys I'm bringing you a gameplay on the map trimmer. Then I go 32 and 6 I'm not sure but I just want to say this map right here is a little tough It uh, takes some getting used to but once you kind of learn all like the uh, Areas of engagement it, it really it becomes a map like the old style Call of Duty uh, That's one of the big issues. I think this game has it's so far From the old style of Call of Duty when it comes to maps like everything else is pretty much Call of Duty but when it comes to the maps, it's like there's no rhyme or rhythm, it seems like. And you almost got to just make your own beat to the map. That's how I see it. But, uh, yeah, this map is probably one of my top five favorite maps in the game. Uh, my top one has to be Warhawk, and you'll definitely be seeing some gameplays from that map. And as I said in previous commentaries, this is the MTAR X, and it's probably going to be my most used gun in the game, simply because I just love the MTAR. Uh, it doesn't seem as good as I thought it was going to be, but it is a good gun. I run... Silencer and grip on it right now. I was running silencer and extended mags, but the thing seems to have a lot of recoil towards the end of shots and even bursting it so it allows it to recoil pretty high. So, you know, that try and get that accurate shot at the end is when it counts the most, it seems like in this game. And without that grip, I couldn't get it because usually by the time I wanted to get that final shot on them, it would kick too high. But anyway, uh, I want to talk about the streaks in this game. The streaks in this game are something that, like, really bother me. Because if you notice, there's, you know, not that many, like, streaks that seem like, you know, would be enjoyable. I, I know they tried eliminating the whole, uh, you know, AI kill streaks, But, I mean, no one wants to lay on the ground, pull out their iPad, and then, you know, drive around as a drone or something or whatever it is. I want to be able to run around, get kills while my kill streaks are out in the field or out in the air uh, so right now I'm running um, the SATCOM I'm running the uh, guard dog which I eventually switched that out for a sensor gun because the guard dog seems useless till you're dead and then I run the battle hind which honestly is probably the only streak in the game that is worth the points that it is uh, well that does not necessarily true like of course like you know you got your uh, sensor gun which isn't bad for seven I mean but I'm talking about like it delivers and it takes nine kills, you know, so it's, it definitely is worth the nine points. Um, I do find that uh, when it comes in, a lot of people seem to rage quit. I guess it was awfully early in the game. And uh, I don't know, just something about that that thing, it sounds awesome too. It just sounds like everything's just taking a shit from the sky. But uh, I don't know. The map's just, I don't know, this map's pretty fucking weird. Like I said, I kind of I kind of just, you know, find the areas of engagement and stay there like I know there's a spawn point there and I know there's a spawn point hold on I know there's a spawn point where I spawn of course in the beginning of the game and I know there's a spawn point behind me there I get the battle hind uh, I am starting to like this game a little bit more the more I learn it's uh, I guess it's one of those things you gotta learn to enjoy but like that's probably the first triple kill I've ever gotten it's crazy triple kills in this game are insanely hard guys like I'm not kidding it's so hard to pull off a multi-kill in this game like I honestly I can't believe it's possible because you die so quick you, I, I, I went into a private match and when I went to a private match I put health on double and I went and played some bots and I swear to god I did not see that guy in the corner and I swear to god that putting it on double health was like playing Black Ops 2 all over again so I mean we must have like 60% of the health because it was a little bit more I'm not gonna lie it was a little more but it felt like playing Black Ops 2 again just you know, having put that much bullets into people. I don't know if it's just this game's less laggy or the hit detection in this game is great. But I'm not gonna lie, the hit detection in this game is freaking perfect. I cannot even get mad at that. The fact that, like, when you lose a gunfight, the only thing is, the only thing you can get mad at is your health bar. That's the only thing you can get mad at. You can't get mad at lag, you can't get mad at anything. It's just your health bar is so small. I mean, you really have zero time to react it doesn't come down to who's more accurate it's basically come down to who sees who first and that really like is going to make the rusher in this game a dying breed and i hate to say that because you know i'm 100 percent rush you know that's all i want to do is run 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 kill 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 but this game is going to cause it to be a dying breed kind of like how black ops 2 was trying to kill the camper but it seems like this game is trying to kill the rusher and i feel like that's not really fair because you know rushing in call of duty 
is what's kept it alive. This is an arcade game. This is not a strategic battlefield game. If you want to play a strategic battlefield game, that is why they made Battlefield. That game is all about having the best strategy. Best strategy wins. There is, you know what I'm saying? I'm playing Team Deathmatch right now, and I just want to run around, and I want to kill people. That's the whole point. That's my objective, is to kill the other players. And it's hard to do that when I have a low health bar and a slow reaction time, even with you know, all the reaction time perks, you know, that I need, you know, I, I got my ready up or whatever it's called where you draw your gun up faster after sprinting, you know, I got my dead silence so they can't hear me coming up on them, which, which is another thing is like the footsteps, guys, can we please fix the footsteps? If you fix the footsteps and the health in this game, it'd be a great game. This probably would be the best Call of Duty of all time. I'm not really mad about the kill streaks. The kill streaks don't bother me. It's not a game ruiner for me like the others are, but... Please, like, can we do something about just, just quiet down the footsteps? Maybe even make it to where the footsteps, I mean, uh, Amplify doesn't make it to where you hear dead silence, but you hear their callouts instead. Because if you guys notice in this game, the a your characters, your avatars, whatever you call them, they actually do callouts. Like, that's one thing I've been listening to. That's another thing that's been helping me with my game, is the characters call out enemy positions. You know, they'll be like, he's out in the open. So, you know, you figure if you're near out in the open, Look out in the open and you'll see an enemy. So, or if he's in the orange building, I heard that one on another map. So, you know, you kind of look for an orange building and you know there's a guy in that orange building somewhere. So, you know, that's another way to, uh, you know, help, you know, move around the map. Because, like, it is hard learning how to rush on this map. And it's just, it's just crazy how much health you don't have in this game after playing Black Ops 2. But, anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I know it's not you know the usual type of gameplay I'm used to posting but right now this is I'm still learning the game it's a new game but peace